Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for coming back to the channel. That is Deb Chanel's 40s World, where we do entertainment celebrity insider news, okay? We get it from different resources, all right? It's not just one person I go to and visit, and it's not just one person that drops by and sits the tea in my lap, okay? But what I need you all to do is definitely subscribe, 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 like and share my videos, subscribe, 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 like and share my videos, leave comments, leave comments, because I do reply back, leave comments, leave comments, because I do reply back. Okay, but anyway, continue to subscribe to my channel, let's grow together, and let's be in harmony with one another, okay? But I got a story <coughs> from the Atlanta Journal Constitution, yes, we're going to be talking about my city I live in, that I get down in, okay? But I do have eyes to see and ears to hear, to discern what is fuckery and what is true, okay? In my opinion, girlfriends, boyfriends, we had Kanye West come to the ATL with his wife. I don't know if he bought all of his children also. He came to Atlanta to be on tour with his Sunday service. And the brother's not at Phillips Arena. He's not at an outside event. He's in the house of the Lord, honey. He's out at Missionary New Birth Missionary Church, okay, the one that Eddie Long used to pastor at, but I do believe Jamal Bryant is pastoring, or he's the pastor over there now. Yes, as the Bible says, beware of men and women that come in sheep's clothing, but are really wolves, okay, and serving Satan, all right? I said it. Yes, I did. Now, this woman was his mother. He was accused of sacrificing her for his fame and fortune. He and brother start looking like this. Started hanging out with the Scientology people crew. You know, getting down with Brad Pitt. He probably done rubbed heads with, um, what's the name? Tom Cruise. You know what I'm saying? You get into all this mystic, scientific stuff. They'll take any logic out of anything that you believe, if you believe in it. Okay, he's hanging around some very peculiar, powerful people, and his wife more than likely introduced them to to him to all of them. Okay, fake and fraudulent. You know what happened with Dale Ch Dave Chappelle? He got out there and went crazy, went back to his homeland, came back. He started speaking another language <laughs> that only aliens can understand. Okay, then Kanye stop putting the knees, start looking like this, start hanging with a so called I don't know alleged witch. Yeah, that's what he's saying about um, what's their child name? Taylor Swift. Okay, you can look at some of her videos. Now you got young Jesus running around there with uh, Jenny Mai from The View. Or is it the talk? I think it's the, no, it's the real. I'm sorry. Then you know they always said uh, Jay-Z was a snake. He turns on people. Look at what he did to Jermaine Dupri in an NFL deal. He was speaking truth at this concert. And next time you saw him, he was another person. I mean, he was speaking everything. Everybody like Kanye head went crazy because he was talking like he had some sense. He was trying to drop some tea to those who have eyes to hear. I mean, eyes to see and ears to hear. But then they got him, honey. They got him. I don't know. Was it the elite? Was it? I don't know who it could have been. You know what I'm saying? Programming people around here. That it could have been our military. But yes, honey. And now. Even Erica Badu don't even look right. She looks strange. They say she's a witch. I don't know. Okay. If you got to love good, you know it's bad. Okay. It's the yin and the yang to the world. So you're going to have evil people out here doing satanic work. And you're going to have godly people out here doing righteous work. You just got to be in discernment. And this joker done hooked up with the one that wants to make America great again. I tell you, wolves in sheep's clothing. Wolves in sheep's clothing. And then he's trying to pose as an angel. Come on now. But like I said, he's down here in Atlanta today. Don't know if he's still. He'll have Steve Harvest down here in North Georgia going out in the um the woods camping. Talking about he finna lose some weight. You know black folk don't like no camping out. They don't like to be lost in no woods. And he out there doing whatever he's doing. But like I said, these are the things that people do for fame, fortune, and to be known. Okay? But we're focusing on Kanye West today. <sighs> Yes. That's all thing I'm saying. Y'all drop down in them comments and see. Do y'all think he's the same rational person now? 
Uh, do you think he's following the Lord? You remember he's trying to get that patent um, that he can promote and trademark Sunday service. What you think he's going to do? All these uh, churches out here, they're going to have to ask him for permission to put up Sunday service. Come serve, come serve with us for Sunday service. Because if he gets it, Sunday service, y'all are going to be infringing on something he got for writing. So can you see him making money over fists? Okay, and that was Eddie Long, you know. He got into that little uh, kid scandal where he's supposed to have been doing a lot of strange things with some young underage kids, okay? Especially when he was sending them to camp. And we all know what really happened to him. He's deceased. He died back here in January 2017. I believe had his little funeral, but honey, he started going down in his looks and his posterity. Okay, posterity, I guess I'm trying to say. He started looking like this, then he went to this, and you know that's kind of freaky. I don't know if that's God paying him back for all the illness he did on this earth and the sickness he caused. Don't really know. Some people say he died of AIDS. Um, I don't know. I can't really say, but I know if anything that was allegedly true on him. Did he get his just due? I'm just saying, okay? But yeah, brother had went from a full-figured man, healthy, to this, okay? To even smaller than that. Then they brought in Jamal Bryant. He's supposed to be over there pastoring or the pastor over there, senior pastor, taking Ed Long's place, all right? And New Birth Missionary Church. So I'm like, why would he and what do he have in common or his folks on the board or directors, I guess, had in common with asking Kanye West to come in and do his Sunday service. Only like, what have Kanye gave back to the community at large? Only thing he's been doing is stirring, oh, we got to get America back together again. Slavery was a choice and selling socks for $50. Okay. And then the attire that he's trying to wear into church is less flattering. Less flattering. Okay. This is Kanye West we talking about. And these are the uh, type of items he's selling. Does that look satanic to you all? Y'all tell me. I just want to know who are y'all following out there? Those who have eyes to see and ears to hear, please get into the book of Matthew. And it's going to tell you a lot. And that's what I want all my followers to do. Read the New, New International Version or your Holy Bible, whatever. Get into Matthew. Tell me what y'all think it's talking about. Because we are living in the last days, whether you want to believe it or not. And we do have a system of uh, Sodom and Gomorrah going down here as well. Read the Bible, people. Read it. It is fulfilling. Whether you want to see it and you want to believe it or not, just test it out. Test it by the Spirit, okay? I'm sure you'll get an answer. Call these folks Kanye hanging around and, and, and siding yourself with. They're demonic. These people are crazy. They really are. They up throw up so many traditional signs that's in the elite, the secret society groups, and all this stuff. Scientology, check it out. I know my people that follow me, they're educated, and they're well-informed, and they woke. Okay, all these people y'all think or for you all, and y'all are idolizing them and all this kind of stuff, man, please. Take them for what they're worth. If you want to go to their concerts, now they be saying when you go to concerts, now they be putting spells on y'all. So y'all got to be very careful. Y'all got to wear the whole armor of God. Y'all got to read and re do your research for yourself. And whatever you come out with when you read what I've tried to tell you and other woke people have tried to tell you, if you don't believe it, then okay. But don't pitch my fence. Don't come, you know, throw rocks at what I believe because I don't try to throw rocks at what other people believe. I'm like, okay, if it fits you, if it's your brim of living, okay. All right. We all got to make our own judgment calls. We all got to come in account for our own souls and saving our own selves from the debauchery and the blasphemy things that we see on a daily matter. Kanye don't care about no black lives, honey. He up that red, when it red hell. Excuse me, wearing that red hat and uh, securing and sizing himself alongside you see who. Okay, he will not be mentioned. All right. But then, you know, I did kind of like Erica Badu, but she's looking kind of strange herself too these days, especially them Soul Train Awards. She's been popping off hosting lately. And like I said, that's just uh, Omar Odom and uh, Jay Z. Are you kidding me? All right. But yeah, that's the inside of Missionary Baptist Church where Kanye was supposedly had had service today. I don't know who was there because like I said, there's a lot of devils walking in the church and all part of the church. OK, because y'all got to understand you all are the church. 
You all are the tabernacle. You are all the vessels that the Lord carry himself in and, and promote his good deeds from you, from him. Okay? So acknowledge him in all things. Okay? Give glory to God. All right? The Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yeah, he's selling socks for fifty dollars. Now, who in their right mind? Hell, he was selling a T-shirt, a white plain T-shirt that you can go and buy six for about twelve dollars or something like that, or maybe it's twelve for fourteen dollars. I'm not sure from Haynes, you know. But he, he was selling that for a hundred dollars on his website when he first started getting into the fashion apparel line, and he's no, oh, and then he's selling this, y'all. Y'all see what I'm talking about? It look old, tattered. I know it's tie dye material, whatever, you know. But he, uh, he probably selling that for about two grand. I'm just saying, this man is supposed to be holy without sizing himself up with Katy Perry, and I don't know who that man is. Y'all might know him, but anyway, and she got a self complaint, uh, self, uh, what do you call it? Professed witch. Okay, but look what he doing. He hailing down to make a great, make America great again. Hell, when has it been great? When has it been showing favor to uh, minorities and brown colored people? Are you kidding me? Man. But since I had that tirade, y'all know who I, how I feel. I'm very biased on this situation because I've definitely had time to study and watch, observe Mr. Kanye. And I'm telling you, after his mama was deceased, child, please, that boy went left, left, left. He went nowhere right. But all his turns have been left, left. Left, okay, no right turns, or anything, or just standing on a uh, middle lane. He was just going left, everything's just left, left, left. And I think he's just spinning, and well, he is out of control, but he's just spinning like a tornado. Don't know where he'll land when nobody would just stop him from spinning. So that's basically what he's doing now, spinning out of control. All right, but I'm getting this from AJC. Anybody don't know the abbreviations? It's Atlanta Journal Constitution, they have their own website, but they also. Uh, or newspaper rag. Okay. Uh, Sheila Poole is the article journalist who's um, promoting herself and writing an article while he was here for his uh, Sunday service tour. Because that's all that is. He's selling tickets and selling blasphemy. And people are buying it up just like it's, I don't know, something free they don't got a hold of. Okay. But anyway, she titled her um, article Kanye West Brings Sunday Service to Atlanta. Okay. Kanye West surprised many at New Birth Missionary Baptist Church on Sunday morning, which is today. Okay, the influential rapper brought his pop-up series of Sunday performances called Sunday Service to the Mega Church in Stonecrest. Okay, that's just a county, and it's just down, uh, it's in the, um, what do you call it, the southeast side of Atlanta. Uh, more rural, but it's, you know, kind of, I ain't gonna say it's upscale, but it's a little let, um, Lax and Buckhead area. Uh, we have the rich and influence influencers out there that you'll be catching them at Lenox Mall where they have all those high priced, overpriced shops. But hey, everybody in Atlanta they got money or they using their bill money or whatever. They don't buy no fake shit. They go straight on down down to Buckhead, get whatever they want or order it online, and they be flossing. So every bag that you see, it may not be a fake, okay? Because that's how people run in Atlanta. I don't know how it is anywhere else, but. They do like the floss, but not the people that were actually born and raised here. And I'm talking about me, a Southern Peach. Yes, I do have my uh, goods and services, but I'm very tame. I only have one little top bag, and I had it for about five years. Took the same one. Don't plan on going back, getting anything else. I just wanted it. I wanted it when I was 16 years old. Hell, I tried to put it on railway. Until this young lady at the Linux store had told me, baby, when you get enough money, I'm going to give you this catalog. You come on back and get whatever you want. But we don't have layaway. We don't run like that. And that's when I started doing my research on Louis Vuitton. She, and then we paying for vinyl bags. It ain't leather. I mean, the, the, what do you call it? The attributes might be leather. The handle is leather. But the bag itself, child, we paying for vinyl. And when that really stuck in my head, I was ashamed. I was embarrassed that I had even bought the shit. Okay, but I'm going to uh, tote it here and there. I am trying to give it to my daughter. My mom, she said, uh-uh. <laughs> Thank you, baby. It was my fantasy. I wanted it. I got it. And it's all good. Okay. But that's the only one I have. The only one I'm going to plan on getting. And I do have a few of Coach bags. And they're leather, honey. They straight up leather. And I love the smell of them. So if you want a nice leather bag, I would say get Coach. But, you know, y'all might be in something else floating with, uh, 
I don't know what y'all could be doing out there. I'm just talking right now. But anyway, let's go on back to this service, uh, Sunday service thing that happened in Atlanta, my hometown. Okay, I can't tell you too long. Can't tell you too long. Okay. It said, although Sunday service was, wait a minute, although Sunday service from West was considered a surprise, the lines waited outside New Birth before beginning at least at one hour before the service. You see what I'm saying? They had like this Black Friday and it's the day after the holiday, meaning Thanksgiving, and y'all out there trying to get some goods. Now, if you don't come like that in droves and buckets on a regular Sunday service, why the hell are you coming trying to see Kanye West, a blasphemer, at uh, at, at the Church of God? Okay, y'all think y'all gonna get a concert? Hey, take, take it to Phillips Arena. Take it to, um, what do you call that, where they play the uh, Falcons? The Mercedes Benz Dome or whatever. Go down now. That's a concert. You're supposed to be saving souls. Hey, if you want to do, be outside. He do some pastoring, look like type of work in LA. He be outside uh, on land, okay, just preaching. <laughs> but to use the house of the Lord, a synagogue. But see, that's why I said synagogues are just going to be like like minded people praising the Lord, okay? You ain't necessarily going to find yourself being saved in the house of a, a, a building, okay? Sometimes you might be, get, convicted of what I'm saying and you might go to the church and get baptized or whatever then you you cool you got to represent yourself you dwell you, the Lord dwells in you you are the house of the Lord okay you go out there and, and show and shine and prove okay for the Lord and get uh people you know you're a walking disciple in a sense you know you share the word with every person you can that you come in contact with and you're doing the Lord's work but I like that. Y'all doing too much. Sitting out there an hour before church service and then half of y'all on regular church service running up there 20 minutes before the service is over with. You don't miss the collection plate. You don't miss praise and worship. And you don't miss the good peace that I like to go for. The word. Okay? The word of God. What is he telling you to tell on me? That's what I'm trying to say. Because I don't go for the word for nobody else and then try to come put the plank in their eye. I go for myself. Because I feel like, okay, if I'm in the house of the Lord, Lord got something for me to say. Okay? Because he raised me up. He told me to go to church and I'm here, okay, Lord, what you got for me, what you got for me, and when I come back empty like I went in, I'm mad, I'm mad, I'm mad, okay, but anyway, going back to the article, it said, Wes has been making such appearances on Sunday this year, including one in Daytona, uh, Ohio, to, or Dayton, Ohio, uh, to help that community in the wake of the mass shooting on an Easter Sunday to bring message of faith to those attending the music festival Coachella. Okay, in appearance last week on ABC's daytime show, The View, West's wife, Kim Kanye, a Kardashian, was asked about the Sunday service events. Kanye started this, I think it's just to hear himself, and it was a really personal thing, and it was just friends and family. Kim Kardashian said, and he has had an amazing evolution of being born again and being saved by Christ. See, that's blasphemy right there. Now, how Kanye going to save himself? How is he going to save himself? Okay. So he already denounced Jesus Christ already, and more than likely the Holy Spirit, because Kanye can't save nobody. He can't, definitely can't save himself. Oh, I tell you, you can see I'm kind of lit on this. But anyway, it goes on to say she added, it is a Christian service, like a uh, musical ministry. They talk about Jesus and God. Uh, and then that's pretty much it, y'all. That's pretty much because AJC, they don't, they don't get down with the fool and the funkery. Okay, they just say whatever you're saying, they take it for what it is, and they put it out for us to digest and uh, observe and then spit out what we think we uh, feel about it. Well, I told you it's just fake fraudulent shit. I just had to cover it because it was uh, happening in my town, and I wanted to let y'all know about it, okay? Y'all get on in them comments, y'all tell me what y'all thought about. It, him coming, going into a synagogue, preaching, you know, total blasphemy. But y'all might say he might be preaching the word. I don't know. Okay, but I just caught some of his Sunday service and it was a travesty. And all these people sitting up him, groove into the music like we at some kind of concert, shaking their boot and all like that. I'm like, come on, please. Sound like Solomon and Gamora. Some of, sound like worshiping idolship is what it's basically sounding to me. But that's just me. That's my spiel. That's my opinionated opinion. On the issue, y'all tell me what y'all think about this, and I gotta be out. Bye bye.